Hello again people. Right, definitely the last uh, post of the day or video of the day. Um, I'm liking this uh, new SIM card I've got. Uh, its um, upload speed is phenomenal now so uh, uh, well I, can, I can sort of relax into these videos. So this is uh, an in-depth video about the compounding. I th no, I, I couldn't show you the compounding sheet because I hadn't set it up properly. So now I'm back to it. Uh, I've put this for your benefit. Strictly one per one trade per day is enough, um, and uh, that's the point I was trying to make. And in this um, uh, imaginary account size you've got, say you've got a grand to risk on your trading, I really, really, really um, uh, encourage you just to uh, uh, only risk a small amount of money uh, until you can actually follow this sort of style thing to the letter. And that's why I mentioned how compounding and the, the compounding sheet is so, so, it changed the way I traded when I realised how powerful it was. Um, I had this right from day one from my mentor back in 2006 or five or whenever it was, thereabouts. And um, I never realised the power of it. And uh, obviously it wasn't in this format. I've changed it enormously since then, added different bits and changed different bits. But, uh, you know, if we could say... A thousand pounds times two percent and uh, we're going for well we've got a stop this is uh, what I would have had standard in here 22 pip stop and we're going for um, <clears throat> six pips Then uh, we're looking to make three pound fifty-eight a trade, and by the end of the month, end of the month, one thousand and seventy-four quid. Doesn't look particularly good like that, but uh, if you just put your hundred pounds in and times divide that by ten and times that by ten, you will get the same numbers. One hundred and twenty. So you're 358 and uh, then the compounding takes over and you've ended up doubling your £100. So um, the other columns I've added in here, this is just uh, if, you, if you stopped at this point, that's what your account would be worth after 13 months, 13 four week periods rather, 12 months. Uh, and these are the four, this is week one, week two, week three, week four. And it goes on like that. The second month, second 20 day period, you'd have doubled it again, 408, and then you'd have doubled it again, and so on and so forth. Um, this column I added since the last uh, compounding video is just uh, the amount of this added up. So you would have earned 19 quid that week, 22 quid that week, 27 quid that week, and 31 quid that week. That's all that tells you. Now, I encourage you to use one of these and um, don't ignore it like I did and make that same mistake and wasted time because this is priceless in my opinion because what I did this will this will prevent you from over trading look at this every day you start your trade especially if you just think three pound fifty eight is horrendous or uh, you know I, I don't know how much money you've got but if you've got f uh, five grand um, to trade with then put 500 quid with your broker and this thing soon adds up the, the numbers are still the same it'll only double at the end of the month and uh, and then double again and so on and so forth but here's the here's the trick um, what I what I used to do is and I still use one of these now even what I used to do and still do is just round up round up the amount you're going to risk and by that I mean if this was 1.1 rounded up to 1 uh, 0.15 or whatever or 0 0.2 I mean the risk you're risking far larger amount obviously we could find out what that is nearly 0.2 there so 30% risk you're still safe you could blow the account up and uh, you you could go about 45-50% I think at this point so 30 you know 40-50 pips and uh, your risk, uh, you could round that up to two, uh, 
so you'd be instantly earning more money you know that's how you speed this thing up you could increase your risk from 20 to 21 percent and that'll improve your bottom line massively two point uh, two uh, two hundred and nine pounds and then if you increase your target because you're getting more confidence and I bl believe me you will and this is where when you see using support and resistance you see that target like I showed you 59 pips it was between one level of support in the previous video that is and another level uh, another clear clear air between the two levels you'll go for that 20 pips and when you do and if you let's just say you go for 20 and then 15 and then 5 and then 22 and so on and so forth your average will be somewhere around 9 and once you put get an average of 9 you're 337 instead of uh, 200 and whatever it was and this is the power of this thing you know even just adding a pip 7 to your 1 pip to your thing goes 245 that's a huge amount more so um, that's the power of this thing you just need you know tiny tweaks one extra trade because it's an absolute killer or you know you could trade early in the day if you're in the UK then have the rest of the day chilling out and just get home from work or whatever you do and look at that uh, retracement trade that like the one I showed you and practice and practice on demo until you you know you can do the morning trade and the evening trade and then add that to your repertoire and all of a sudden you are here because you're doing two trades a day you're here in week two not week uh, four and that means in week four you would be way down here 602 quid so I hope that makes sense to you guys this compounding thing is so powerful with just tiny tiny tweaks you know add uh, three pips to your target 10 sometimes you'll make seven pips sometimes you'll make 20 pips but the average is 10 and all of a sudden you've gone from uh, doubling the account to almost quadrupling it and that's just one trade a day guys so that's the power of this thing and use it to remind yourself that you do not need to over trade that's my advice get something like this and every morning just think yep today I'm only earning six quid but by the end of the month I'm earning 21 quid per trade and then by in three months time I'm earning 300 pound a trade and remember you could cut these months this could be week two because you've uh, uh, rounded that up slightly or you've increased that by one percent or you've uh, improved your uh, ability to trade between support and resistance taking doubling and trebling the pips that you show here so it's just a win-win situation guys you know seven could easily be 20 and uh, all of a sudden you know your pip your your profitability your growth rate is massive if you can't do it with a hundred pounds then you cannot do it with a thousand pounds or five thousand pounds that's my um, thinking that's my logic so no need to risk as long as you can get 500 to 1 uh, um, uh, leverage then there's no re reason on earth to put all your money with uh, your broker let's say you blow this one up because you've been stupid then just load it up with another hundred again if you if you get your 300 take a hundred out and carry on with the 200 and then adjust everything back to the new trade levels accordingly so plenty of ways to use compounding guys I think it is absolutely priceless I've said it many times and remember you know just like uh, I often now take trades for 20 pips 22 pips 30 pips 25 pips I've still only got this in in my account showing as my target it's just that suppose I had uh, 20,000 pounds in my account 
instead of being at uh, like I say in five I've done five days trading uh, target this is what I mean five days target in one day in fact I did 11 days in um, on Monday that means uh, I am instead of being here at this point I am day one day two day three day four day five day six day seven day eight day nine day ten day eleven I'm here after one day and that's you know that's because I'm trading every which way but loose of course but then the benefit of that is after day two I've done another uh, 15 days worth of uh, trades in one day and all I've done is gone from a 5 pips or a 7 pips or whatever and I'm at 60 grand instead of uh, uh, day 2 on here at this point here 21 grand that's what Billy means by putting credit for the losses ready for the losses but you don't need to be doing 5, 10, 15 trades a day one trade a day is all you need I hope that uh, makes sense to you guys. It takes a little while to sink in, but you will see this move. And there is another way to look at this as well, is that you may get anxious about the slow growth. You may have more than that thousand pounds. And if that's the case, then just, you know, if, you, if you've if you got 20 grand in your trading uh, allowance for your trading account, so you put two grand in here, or whatever you feel, sorry, 2,000, whatever you feel comfortable with. The other way of doing it is saying, right, well, I need to make a hundred pound a day. I've got to do that. I shouldn't think there's any reason for that, but if, if that makes you feel comfortable not to over trade, then you just have to work out a way on demo to get your hundred pounds from day one. And if that's what makes you happy to close your trading station, and walk away until the following day then that's what you have to do you have to work out a way to get your uh, comfortable daily profit targets and uh, and then you will see that you instead of a hundred pounds you make 150 pounds or you uh, and you found that second trade in the late in the day the reversal trade and you've made two times a hundred pounds that day you know that's You'll have to work that out for yourself when you demo trade. Demo trade like it is a real account, guys. Use this like it is um, your life depends on it, and I'm sure it will help you enormously. Okay, that is it. I'm going to go and watch some telly now. Have a good day. Bye for now.